at the Chancellor Park Cafe, Tessa complains to Nikki that Victor had her arrested. Tessa refused to help the police trap Victor, and didn't tell Noah that Nikki ratted her out to Victor, she figures they both owe her a favor. Nearby, Mariah runs into Abby and relays that Scott's moving into Sharon's place. At a table, Nikki joins Nick. They learn there's a public hearing about the future of Chancellor Park, then discover there's a plan for condos to go up. They vow to protect it. At Hamilton Winters, Devon is doing damage control for Tessa's arrest when Hillary arrives and suggests Tessa come on the show and give her side of the story. Devon declines. Hillary argues if she doesn't tell the story someone else will. Devon admits he's considering dropping Tessa. Hillary leaves, disappointed. Tessa arrives, and Devon says he has a plan. Scott moves into Sharon's place, he's finally home. They start kissing and peeling off their clothes. Later, Mariah enters and notices a bra. She calls upstairs to see if they're decent, but they're on the living room floor, naked under a blanket. Sharon gasps, I was just showing Scott where everything is. Scott heads upstairs, and his phone dings. Mariah reads the text, and Sharon learns it's about a job interview in New York. Sharon wonders why he hid it. Mariah goes. Scott assures Sharon the job offer meant nothing once she asked him to move in. Sharon apologizes. At the station, Paul and Chris are frustrated with their lack of progress on linking Newman Enterprises to Zack's murder. Talk turns to the plans for Chancellor Park, where they got married. Before Chris leaves, Paul says he's working on a long shot. He phones someone who might be the perfect person to crack what he is working on. At GC Buzz, Hillary gets a call from Devin accepting her offer to put Tessa on the air. She goes to inform Mariah she'll be prepping Tessa for the interview. Mariah grimaces. Damn it. When Tessa arrives, Mariah asks what she'll say about the arrest. Tessa just wants to sing her new tune. Tessa whispers the truth about the gun to Mariah, who remarks about her keeping secrets. Tessa wants Mariah to run interference with Hillary. On the air, Hillary questions Tessa about the arrest, but she claims her lawyer won't allow her to discuss it. Hill pushes, but Tessa wants to sing, and Mariah pipes up that every gal's entitled to their secrets. At Sharon's place, Scott gets a call from Abby about Tessa's impending interview and heads out to meet her at Newman. Nikki drops into the Chancellor Mansion to discuss the park situation with Esther, and learns Kevin's in town. She confronts him about helping Victor hack her phone and email account the same month Nicholas' bank account was emptied. Nikki knows he was there in September, and it's not the first time he and Victor have worked on something illegal. Kevin eventually admits that Victor knew he needed money to start over out west, and says he's a hard man to say no to. Nikki warns if he does anything like this again, she'll go to Paul, and asks what Victor has on him. She figures it must be juicy leverage. At the penthouse, Nick shows Chelsea his letter to the mayor in support of Chancellor Park. She exclaims in dismay, and Nick ruminates about stopping the developer. At Newman Enterprises, Abby and Scott watch the Hillary Hour as Tessa is forced to explain Zach was a sex trafficker who was threatening two people when Crystal stopped him. Tessa states she gave Crystal the gun, and it had nothing to do with the Newmans. Hillary notes downloads of Tessa's song have soared and proceeds are going to charity. Abby turns to Scott and marvels that they'd be dead if Tessa hadn't given Crystal the gun. Scott feels there were things missing from Tessa's account. Abby thinks he should let it go, so they bicker. They get in uncomfortably close proximity and Scott backs off. It happens again, and they nearly kiss before Scott leaves. At GC Buzz, Tessa goes off on Mariah for tipping Hillary off, but learns Devin actually provided the details of her arrest to cover their butts. Mariah walks off in disgust at Tessa's assumption about her. Elsewhere, Devin admits Hillary was right and knows her audience. Over a champagne toast, Hill suggests their relationship would make a good reality show. Devin's unconvinced. He thanks her and leaves. At home, Mariah and Sharon compare notes about Hillary and Scott. Mariah's glad her mother's happy. 
Sharon assures Mariah she will be soon too. Next on The Young and the Restless. Kane, holding Sam, asks Lily, would you like to hold him? Lily looks uncertain. Abby asks Scott, how do you feel about me, really? Ashley says to Jack, if our father was alive, he would be appalled. Jack retorts, he's my father, not yours, 